Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is third video in our Power Pages tutorial series. In first two videos, we talked about how we can create website in Power Pages, how website permission can be set. In second video, we talked about how we can configure or use Power Automate to do any business process into your Power Pages and how to call a Power Automate flow directly from any button click. And in this video, as I said, we are going to see how we can integrate the forms and that form should reside into our Dataverse table and how we can allow the permission on the, that those forms. So to start with, I am into my portaloffice.com or you can also like navigate to Power Pages from any of your SharePoint or OneDrive or any of the Microsoft product by using this spread icon and you will get your power pages and you can directly open it so we are going to work on the same website which we created last time for our partner net portal so right now you can see i have this active site as my partner net portal i can start editing this one and we are going to create one grid which will show the records from our data was stable and as well as has the capability of creating new records and added records to start with we are going to create one page which will be a sub page under our home page and that can act that can host our data was table and can have the buttons to create new so i can start with blank or i can choose any of the landing page i'll just say this title as partner management page where we are going to create few partners manage delete create partners add that to page navigation so this will give us a area where we can add our form or list or data was table whatever we can say now the first step how we can create a data was table so that we can show them into our this page that grid of all our listed partners and as well as capability of editing and creating new for that we can go to powerapps.com we can go to solutions so that we can find the existing solution which is created for our this power pages site so it's recommended to create everything into solutions so we will just ideally go to solution and we'll pull up our partner net portal solution which was created last time as part of our provisioning and over here we can see under tables we have right now zero tables so over here we are going to create our first table and as i said we are going to create one partner uh, management table so that we can create the new partners i'll say table set advanced properties so that we can give a name to our table partner management We can also enable the attachment though like in this session we are going to talk about we are not going to talk about attachments uploading files it's just like data entry today but in next session we'll take it on the same table so i'll enable these attachments and you can look on the these other properties which are right now not required for us like related to auditing searching so i'll just say this table and we'll start creating new columns quickly and that columns would capture the information for our partner so i'll create columns and to start with the name is the default column which is already created i'll just say this next column has contact so that i can look this look up this contact from my existing contact list and the data type i would say lookup and this lookup we are going to turn this up into a drop down so that it can be easily uh, looked up from for our customers so i'll just say look up and it required i'll say required and related table is our contact table so you can start typing in it will give you this information it can be searched yes and we are going to save this column again we'll quickly create two more columns one is related to email 
in a single line of text but we are going to format this as email so that it can add our validator with it and we'll just say save and the last one I'll just simply add address as multi line or text area I'll just say text and it's a text area and this is not required I'll just save it so we are done by creating our table so the next next part is we'll again go to our table and we are going to quickly create one view so that that view can be inside that page which which we created earlier so i'll just quickly go to view and right now we have this inbuilt views active partner management i can click on this one i can use this view itself and we are going to modify like what columns we want to show on our power page as an grid column so i'll just quickly add view columns and inside view columns first of all i'll just say contact and email and created on we can keep it but i want to move this aside so that my important column should be up front so i am good with this view and i'll just say save and publish so that this view can be available for me and now we will circle back to the forms i'll go back and go back to my table and we'll click on forms and we are going to create a form and we'll start with creating our main form which will capture the information for us and this form we are going to restrict or remove some unwanted stuff from our default form first of all this i just need this information so i'll just remove this default related column and over here I'll select this related and simply say hide. I don't want to see this for my actual when I'm entering a record for my partners. And this owner field is pre-populated. I want to drag this to the top and then I can add my the required information contact. So we should come here, then email, and then address. So this information I can Okay. so this would be my main, main form which would be tied up to my power pages and I'll just say save and publish now we have everything created table view and the form so now we can come back to our power pages studio and I'll do a sync so that my latest published information can be present can be available to this power pack pages and now we'll start adding the sections so we have this by default choose a component to add it to this section so i'll click on this dot and it gave me option to connect to data which is my data was table i can create i can click on this new list which will give me option for my data was tables in my environment so i'll say partner management table choose the view which we want to show so view as we set this active partner view with our required fields so i have selected that and under this second tab actions i want to create a new record and over here it's not showing any form though like we have created the form so for that what you can do you can before adding to the list you can just click on the form so though like it, should, it is not the intended behavior but because it happens what I have observed so you just need to create click on this form and then select your table it's a temporary setup I would say partner management and now this should give you this partner management main form which we created and when you click on ok it gave you the form but this form we are not going to directly use it's just a workaround so that my form can be available inside my list I just deleted it again and now I'll just pick my list I'll go do the same step search for my partner management choosing my view naming the view in action create a record over here now you can see it has started coming because it added the reference to that uh, partner management form to this power pages now in the setup so now we can directly use it for create 
and I'll enable this for view detail as well as the same for added page added records so now we are done but before moving to the next step I'll just show you one more thing which we are going to use later in our this configuration so in this more options we have this advanced settings these additional settings are currently available through portals management uh, app so we are going to do some formatting on our page so that the required the end the default behavior can be changed so right now I'm just clicking on done and we'll just preview our page to see like whether we started getting our the intended behavior of our grid or data was stable or not I'm just doing a preview next up so right now we you don't have permission to view this record because the important part of configuration which is left is setting up the new permission so it was giving us warning over here so we need to set up the new permission so you can click on this tab permissions create new permission and for this we can say permission name and the part the table name is again this partner management table and you can derive your access based on if you want to give access to all the related tables then global access otherwise just to the related tables record choose this contact access you can define the relationship existing one I'll pick like while creating columns we have created this one and over here what, what permission I can grant is read update create I'll grant everything right now because I need to read delete update everything and importantly we need to add roles and who can do this operation of managing this list so I'll just say administrator and authenticated users not the anonymous users so once you select them and save them then this preview will start working for us and we can close this permission part and again refresh the preview so now we have this create button and as well as it's not giving us problem of permission so I'll just click on create I would get this name contact email address and this captcha so this is annoying so you can remove this captcha part I'll just tell you like how it can be done before that we'll just save partner as let's say iOS solution and contact information you can look look up this contact information by this look up search class icon you can scroll down and select this one but instead of like uh, giving me a pop-up and then nice search I wanted to convert in a drop down simply where I can just search select my existing partners or the vendors and in the email if I just say type anything and in address type anything and in capture if I do th so it's authentic for authenticated users so I don't want to keep this capture it's an unnecessary step so we'll remove it in later step so processing it start try to save but email address is invalid it did the formatting check we have a record created now as I said like we'll be moving to the next part of doing some formatting for our form removing capture and as well as converting this into drop down the contact information so I am going to open my this edit list and more option I'll go to open power pages management and under this we are going to set up few form properties it opened this power apps management portal for us and we'll go to basic forms and we'll try to find out our form and we'll click on it it gives us an option of the I mean the information about that form and under form options we have add capture we can remove it for the authenticated users we don't want additional work for them and inside that additional settings you can see what can be pre-populated we can define we can define the validation summary the validation summary CSS class additional instructions record not found message the customization so that can be done and on success setting uh, we can display a success message which is by default or you can redirect to a different page 
if you choose redirect then it asks for external url or web page or within your web, uh, power pages portal and under this addition settings we have this addition settings button related to the pre-population or the auto population of the current portal user so if you want to associate the auto population of current user you need to check it and map to the any of the existing column value then existing cur current portal user would be populated inside this so we don't have any such field or you can bind that to created by basically like who is creating this record so that's fine and attach a file we will take this part in later session how to upload a file inside power pages and we can skip it for now and we can directly go to the basic form metadata which is required to change the format of our lookup column so i'll just say new basic form metadata the type we are going to choose this attribute type we are going to change the control styling for our lookup column so you need to scroll down and find a right option for you render lookup as drop down so this will change the lookup style from the, the column style from lookup to drop down and attribute logic name you can map this attribute to your actual column which is contact and you can that will be as soon as you pick this up it replaced with default one you can change this again and the other different style the control style how this control should be look like how many multiple if it's a multiple choice option how many minimal selection should be there group name css class if you define if you want to define your own css class styling and set value on save so you can set this value to any different column as well while saving so you can have those uh, rules set up in this page and once you save you will start looking at your this formatted form to this form if i just do a refresh for my preview page then my this form setting should start reflecting now i have this capture gone and i have this contact as a drop down and now it's much simpler to fill out the information i can simply search within my this lookup column email address and then physical address and i do a submit and it creates a new record for me so this is how we can have the data driven from our database table inside our power pages and come can submit this form so this is it for today's video in next video i'll tell you how you can upload the files and save them into database table and as well as how we can create the multi-step forms thanks for watching today's video